Like I, I last time we had you on, I really wanted to talk about you toured with Chris Cornell, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. Um, isn't that you know the, the things that make us think of the people that have passed on? You know, I, I, I think about that stuff so much. But Chris Cornell was such a great guy. Uh, I, I was thinking about him recently, actually. Um, and so I, I did that tour in, in 2011. Uh-huh. I got I got the call to 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 open up for him, and I, I had a new record called Field Songs that was about to come out, but it wasn't quite out yet. My my then girlfriend, now wife, and I were living over in my uh, converted corn crib. Uh, mm-hmm. that, that now is down the road. Now my brother lives in. <laughs> and uh, I remember getting the call that I got invited to come open up for Chris Cornell. And of course, you know, Holy shit. How would that feel? It, it, it felt so good. In fact, I mean, I'll never forget it because um, I, I'm 42. I'm about to be 43. Uh, whatever. We're all, we're all of the age where, I mean, I right. think that uh, like Soundgarden meant a lot to me. Uh, uh, oh, absolutely. I'm of the age where that meant so much to me and they're me. I st- still love. Yeah. It. it still means a lot to me. Uh, I'll always have a, a place in my heart for them. And so that, that was like getting a call from freaking Robert Plant or what, I mean, <laughs> uh, you know, about that. So sure. Yeah. So got, got the call to do a five week tour with him or no, six weeks, six weeks tour, six week tour. And I was like, I don't know. That's longer than I, you know, I, I don't know. I hadn't, I'm about to do a record. I'll have to turn right around and, and go on tour with this record. And she said, honey, she almost, she didn't slap me, but she almost <laughs> was like, right. you got to do this. You, you know? have to. Yeah. No, yeah, you're right. You're right. She's, she's speaks the truth and is, uh, you know, she knows what to say and she's always, she's right. So anyway, uh, I was like, yeah, I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll do this. And it started in February, I think, of that year. And uh, I'll just never forget meeting him for the first time down in Austin, Texas was the first show. Um, so, yeah, drove drove right down to Austin. Um, I mean, it, he he is a figure of, uh, I mean, that, that he, he's a rock star of our time. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, he, he was a figure of, uh, um, you know, I just listen to his music so much. And it was, it's like meeting your, one of your heroes, you know, in a way. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So it, so nice and cool and just just a real, real person. Um, so, yeah, so we did a, a six-week tour together. And, um, I, there was one thing where I had to – there were some shows in Canada. And I, I'd had some legal trouble before. So getting into Canada is sometimes mm. sketchy if you've had legal yeah. trouble. So I got detained at the border. And mm-hmm. I had to go, uh, had to go to jail for a night in Canada, and mm-hmm. they did a deportation hearing. They did not let me in. So I, my people, I, I had, to, I called my manager and was like, "Dude, I'm getting, de- I'm getting detained at the border for some weed charge from 12 years ago, or yeah. whatever, some dumb yeah. thing." So can you tell Chris's people, uh, you know, I, I can't make like the three shows that we're doing or whatever. So that that was all fine or whatever. So I met up with him in Chicago was the next show when they were back and I could, you know, uh, back in the States and I could rejoin the tour. Right. And uh, he gave me, uh, this is crazy. I walked out, uh, you know, I was like carrying my gear in uh, or like up to the side of the stage. And uh, there he was. And he's, he's, he was tall. He was like a tall guy, you know, and he came up to me and gave me a big hug. He's like, Oh, I, I heard about your troubles in Canada. Like, we're so glad to have you back on tour. We, we were worried, man. You had to go to jail in Canada. You know, wow. uh, he gave me a hug. Like, I'll never forget that feeling. It was so wild. I was like, Oh yeah, I'm good, man. I'm here to rejoin the tour. But that's the kind of guy he was. 